Hi, my name is Megan Avery, and I'm the creator of Hip Stitch Academy. I'm a sewing educator who has recently fallen in love with hand embroidery. My love of embroidery started out of a necessity, but it's definitely become a true passion of mine. Starting at the end of March of 2020, I began offering free hand sewing and embroidery classes to both kids and adults. And at this time, there was so much uncertainty in our world, and I knew that people needed something to do because they were at home all the time. I began to see just how relaxing and enjoyable embroidery could be. This embroidery video class puts together all of the things that I've been teaching my students in our weekly and monthly embroidery classes. I hope that learning how to do embroidery and how to hand sew brings you as much peace and comfort as it has to me and to my students. The video course is divided up into five sections. The first section of the course is embroidery basics and I'm going to teach you the tools of the trade and how to be most successful at hand sewing and embroidery when you're at home. I'll demonstrate how to get started, including how many strands for every project, how to separate the embroidery floss strands. I'll also show you how to get your designs from paper to both light and dark fabric so you can stitch them. Section two is where I get into the basic embroidery stitches, including the running stitch, the back stitch, the split stitch, two variations of the chain stitch, the couching stitch, the stem, the whipped back stitch, and the woven back stitch. I break each of them down for you and show you how to do them step by step. Then finally, at the end of section one, I put all the stitches together into a really beautiful and colorful embroidery primer so you can practice all of the stitches but actually make something beautiful from start to finish. Section three is the novelty embroidery stitches including the wagon wheel, French knots, the lazy daisy, and the fly stitch. Then again, I put all those novelty stitches together into a beautiful embroidery primer so you can practice all of those stitches. Section four, I go into the filling stitches. These are the ones that fill in the embroidery elements to make them solid and filled with thread stitches, basically. And these stitches include the satin stitch, the fishbone stitch, the raised fishbone stitch, the back stitch fill, the fly stitch when it comes to filling in, and then finally the buttonhole stitch. And once again, I take you through at the end of that, making a beautiful project using those stitches. And finally in section five, I'll show you how you can turn all the embroideries you did into a useful sewn pillow using only your embroidery supplies. So you don't have to get anything extra except some polyfill stuffing. So let's get started.